Alright, uh, magandang araw sa ating lahat. So today, I'm going to uh, demonstrate on how you're going to download and accomplish the prescribed no, inventory template for our project, the Sams. So all you have to do first is to sign in through our Deped Sambuanga Sibugay single sign-on facility and uh, click sign in with Deped email. Make sure that you have an active Deped email. Click sign in with Deped email and uh, just wait for uh, the login page so it will appear and uh, click or uh, sign in your Deped email for the for the meantime. No? I am selecting on my account. Okay. So after signing on the Deped Sambuanga Sibugay single sign-on facility, automatic po lalabas yung information system portal. You have their list of informations which you are or your Deped email is, is registered. So una, um, yung mga property custody po natin, only access project D Sams ang lalabas po dyan. So click natin tong access project D Sams. And uh, ayan. So in the first place, no, you're going to update your profile. So for the meantime, no, I'll I'm going to select uh, my my position and uh, put my contact number and uh, fill up all the details here. And after that, okay, we'll try to put. Um, for example, this is only a simulation or this is only an example, no? Then I do believe that you had already um, updated your profile. So, save natin yung profile. And there you go. You have updated your profile na. Download template. And uh, template na to. Download natin yung template. And we're going to open the template. Alright. So, this is now the template. So, ang kaibahan po ng template on the previous is that um, wala na po yung um, school ID at saka yung district and address. And aside from it, uh, we changed the date of acquis date acquisition and also the DPT email of the accountable person. No? Previously, uh, the name of the account accountable person. And also, we added the additional remarks here for some remarks which is not captured on the previous template. Wait, right? So, I have here an example. I'm going to delete this first. And uh, make sure you are going to select no, horizontally from left to right. Kasi po, dependent, some of the cells here is dependent from the previous cell. So, we'll try to have a machinery and equipment and automatic pusa. We'll try to have uh, ICT equipment and uh, division office. So I'm going to have a laptop. Okay. Laptop for uh, ex example. And don't forget no, to write or to type the description under description no, um, of your laptop. Example Acer Core i5. And uh, you have uh, 16 GB of RAM, you have 512 of uh, SSD, and don't forget the serial number. No? If you have a, a, a set or like, for example, DCP, all you have to do is you're going to put here DCP on the article item, no? DCP batch 45, and on the description, you're going to type everything here, 50 uh, tablet PC or 50 uh unit and after that type that serial number and all property number assigned just leave it blank and here you're going to select the day no kung kailan po na deliver or na acquire natin yung item okay june example 2019 and unit of measure is unit and the unit value, like for example, I'm going to put here 6,500 and property or quantity per property card, one, one, and location. Okay, be keen on here, here uh, in this cell because um, 
don't be you know uh, broad no when it comes to the location of the item so don't hindi po sa advisable na ilagay natin yung school kundi po al saan location yung item located sa school ninyo like for example at the principal's office okay so in my case since i am uh, on the ICT section in the division so i'm going to put here division of um ICT section right and the ed email of the accountable person since i am the accountable for this item so i'm going to type my deped email here make sure that is a complete and a valid deped email and the condition um yeah sorry for the condition we added titled and untitled for the land here if you notice you have the titled and untitled so for this inventory item i'm going to select operational and good condition and found a station so if you have do have some additional remarks just like for example for um, land you have the tax declarations and other details you can you're going to put that on the additional remarks so pag wala naman yung wala naman additional remarks just leave it blank right so save lang po natin tong template oh, yung uh, aking uh, account so next po is just choose file and hanapin natin yung accomplish new inventory template right click lang natin to open and uh, click import okay click natin ng import antayin lang po natin maglo-load ang system and there you go imported na po yung um, file natin so ito yung inaccomplish natin kanina po right so that is how to upload now for the next step is that how you're going to edit so may dalawang option po tayo mag-edit pwede sa template and pwede din dito online so yung template make sure na uh, yung first four columns hindi po sa mapap mapapalitan and uh, the rest of the details doon sa inventory item natin yun i-edit natin siya and just re-upload and this for the second option is online editing so click lang natin tong edit report and if you notice mayroon pong naka-hyperlink yung PP account group so each item naka-highlight po siya and all you have to do is to click the PPE account group and dito lalabas yung details no of your inventory item pwede natin siya i-edit dito right so ganyan lang po kadali paano natin i-edit yung report natin right so that's all and uh, good luck no, to all of you and i do hope na we can reach 100% of the uploading process of our inventory I, inventory report thank you and good day